hi my name is harry davis i'm with ozone pest control we're here shooting a how to video on how to do a scorpion seal on a home i'm shooting this video for all you do it yourself or so you can better understand the materials and the labor that's involved in doing a scorpion seal and if after this video you decide that it's too labor intensive please feel free to give us a call some of the products you're going to want to use are right here in front of you one of them is this weather stripping to do one door it's about fifteen dollars and again you can buy this at home depot another product that we use is this alex plus through dap it's a silicone it goes on white and it dries clear it's about 25 bucks for a case of 12. It's very important that you make sure that it dries clear because when you put this on, you don't want to leave a white mark wherever you use it. Another product for about five bucks a can is this Daptex Plus. It's a foam sealant. It expands just a little bit, just to cover a little bit bigger areas than you would with the silicone. You're obviously going to need a caulking gun, which for about three or four dollars, you can get this also at Home Depot. And then a bag of steel wool. The steel wool is probably about three or four bucks as well. And oh, don't forget, you're going to need some knee pads because when you're crawling around the bottom of the home, you're definitely going to need some knee pads. And we also recommend some rags for cleanup. Out here in the southwest, instead of white picket fences, we've got these lovely block walls that separate our property lines. And that's where I like to start when I'm doing a scorpion seal is right at the property lines. What you're going to want to do is take your silicone and seal up that crack. Now on the border property, you're going to want to do your neighbor's side as well. You ask your neighbor, I'm sure they wouldn't mind you doing it. But this is how it goes. You're going to want to make sure that you're filling in this joint. You just take your finger, clean up any excess. You have make it nice and neat. And then you're obviously going to want to go over the other side, over the top of the wall, and then down the other side. And that would complete the one joint. You would do all the joints on the property. Now we're going to go from the joints of the block wall that we just sealed where the scorpions will hide to where the scorpions will actually try and get into your house. This is a stucco house, and at the bottom of the stucco is a weep screed. Well, that weep screed's got a gap on the bottom of it, and anything with a gap bigger than the the thinness of a credit card you're going to want to seal up. The only thing is it's very important that Weep Screed also has holes in it. Do not seal up the holes because then that does not allow your stucco to drain. Keeping in mind that you want to seal up anything that's as small as a credit card width, here's another prime area where you're going to want to seal. It's going to keep the scorpions from getting into your attic. You can see the idea here is to seal everything that's about the size of a credit card. So you're going to want to go around the outside of the house, checking all the plumbing, checking any electrical, uh, anything that enters the house, uh, lighting, uh, exterior lighting, anything. You're going to want to go around and just silicone them all up. Now if you can see the light shining through the door, that means that bugs can get through the door, so the weather stripping needs to be replaced. This is the weather stripping, you use just a pair of scissors to cut it, and we'll show you how to do that right now. All you're going to do is take a pair of pliers, pull the old one out, Put 
push a new one in. And then you'll see there's no light shining through the door. The problem is solved. For the sake of saving time, you would do that around the whole door. But just for the sake of time, we're just going to do this side. We're inside the home now. We're going to show you a couple other areas where it should be sealed uh, as well from the inside. Uh, for the sake of saving time, I've taken the vent off. A lot of times we'll hear that the customers are saying that the scorpions are coming out of their vents. It's not the case. Your vents are sealed. What is happening is between the attic and the vent, there's typically a gap in here where there's enough space for scorpions to get through. So what you would do is you would seal this up with that silicone as well and then simply put the lid back on and then you're done. Now once you're done with all of your air ducts and your lighting, if you've got high hats you'd want to seal those off as well. Once you're done with all that, you're going to want to do your plumbing. One of the key spots for the plumbing is right where the shower head comes out of the wall. This little ring here will twist off. You'll be able to pull that off and seal behind the wall where the plumbing comes out and then just push that ring back over. All of the plumbing where it comes out for your toilets, underneath your sinks, you're going to want to seal all of those areas with that same silicone. That concludes this video for the Scorpion Seal. I hope it's helped all of you do-it-yourselfers. If you have any questions or concerns, please just give us a call. Thank you.